Greetings, fellow children of time and space. This is your host, Yamari Shadow, and welcome back to Let's Play Sword Art Online Lost Song. Now, some of you are probably wondering why am I playing as Kirito right now, and I'm going to get to that in a couple of minutes, but let me just tell you, yesterday was not the best day for me when it came to playing this game, and I'm about to show you that, show you why right now, and there's an exclamation point over here. I wonder why. Let me see here. There's some important points in the map here, but I'll worry about in a couple that in a couple of seconds. So let me just come out here and show you what's happening right now. And also, I want to point out a couple of things. Somebody had mentioned to me a couple of days ago that I really need to um, start talking more in my um, in my videos, and I can <coughs> oh god, excuse me, I can understand that, but see, here's the thing. I have difficulty processing, um, I'm processing doing multiple things at once, which is weird since I love multitasking. I do that like all the time when it comes to doing stuff on my laptop and whatnot, but I really cannot play video games and talk at the same time. I just can't do it. Now, as you can see here, the wind generator in the middle of the uh, map is actually active now. And you're probably wondering, okay, how did that happen? Well, I accidentally wanted to uh, try and record after I had completed the dungeon I was last on. And when I came here, I came to find out that I got ambushed by four wyverns. Four! And I was like, okay, this is different. They were all level 135, so I was actually expecting it to be pretty easy. No, I was entirely wrong. It was severely difficult. I lost 25 times, and I had to end up recording two full hours of gameplay just to um, get past it. And I was like, mm, I can't upload this. This is going to make things look so bad for me. So, yeah, th um, things turned out really bad when I tried to do this. But, yeah, I am definitely going to try and, um, and do exactly as you guys suggest and um, talk a little bit more in my videos. But let it be known, I'm a really boring guy. Some people who know me outside of the inner butts and whatnot. <laughs> inner butts. I can't believe I said that. But anyways, people that know me outside of the internet actually think I'm not a boring guy. I disagree with them. I am very boring. But if you guys want me to talk more, I will try. I will try. I just need to figure out how to keep myself in the game as well as, you know, try and keep you guys entertained as well. But so far, um, I'm doing pretty good with the game. And what do we have here? Leafa? Wait, what? Uh, okay, let's see what Leafa wants. About, oh, uh, not yet. Um, it's way over there. Okay, there's a battle over there, and there's a cutscene over here, I'm only willing to bet. Yep. Who's that? A friend of Leafa's? I think I get the feeling that this guy has a crush on Leafa. I knew it! He has a crush on Leafa! He's her brother! Uh, he's her brother. Uh, 
ても無駄ですここまで暴かれているのに知らばくれるつもりですかでもこちらにはまだとっておきの情報があるんですよはあ、Can you tell us how confused? リーバちゃんと一緒にフィールドへ素材収集に行きましたよねそういえばそんなこともあったなパーティーを組んでフィールドへ行くなんて当たり前のことじゃないかどうしたもこうしたもありませんよ僕はしっかりこの目で見ましたからねキリトさんとリーファちゃんが手をつないでるところ手リーファと手なんてつないだっけな Did that happen? I don't even remember Dude, you have the wrong idea. Well, actually, no, he doesn't have the wrong idea because Kirito is very stupid. But this guy is being very stupid. Very, very stupid. その時の様子が手をつないでいるように見えたんじゃないかでもあの時のリーファちゃんキリトさんを信頼しきっている目をしてましたあんな穏やかな表情僕には見せてくれません正直に言ってくださいやっぱりキリトさんは待てレコン I think he finally caught up なんですか情けなんて不要ですよどうせ僕は弱くて頼りないしリファちゃんの足ばっかり引っ張ってるんですから。キリトさんにはとてつかなわないですよ。何か勘違いしてるみたいだけど、リファは俺の妹なんだ。え、妹？あ、what？what did I just do？そう、キリトさんの足。あ
Okay, that was peculiar. Anyway, since there's a fight here, I am going to actually continue on with the main story for right now because I could easily save that for another time. It's not like she's going to end up up and walking away anytime soon. But yeah, as far as um, using Kirito right now, the reason I am using Kirito is because those four wyverns were so difficult to um, defeat. It took me 25 times just to beat them, and I already said this. It literally took me two hours just to get done with this. And Kirito is, let me see here. Let me show you guys right now. Kirito is level 145. The wyverns are 10 levels lower than this. So right now, I can't even trust this game and the leveling system. I can't trust it. It's just like with Hollow Fragment. I couldn't trust it with this leveling system because the enemies can get so overpowered, yet they are so underleveled compared to the actual characters in the game. And this game is allowing us to play as so many characters, including our own character whenever I unlock it. So that's only telling me one thing. This game is going to be hellishly difficult to defeat and to um, play out. Ah! Oh. But anyways, with the wind, with the wind generator um, active, I can easily go up to the main island now. So without further ado, let's get started. I don't want to see. Wait, what? What just happened? Oh, there we go. Aw, I can't use my wings anymore. Sheathe the weapons, thank you. What's up here, I wonder? What am I gonna come across? <sighs> Are we at the top yet? Finally. <laughs> fast! That wasn't fast in the slightest! <laughs> Aww. Hey, don't insult the case, Sith, okay? Oh, shut up, Elizabeth. You're just the same way. All right, so what do we have in store for me? Ooh, I got me a little item here, so let's see here. Okay, so we go this way. I am only going to bet if I fall, it's going to hurt a lot. Dungeon <laughs> Okay, this dungeon is known as the Ruins of Thrud. So, from the looks of it, it's a pretty straight shot, but there's a branching path here. So, let's go to the left, because I get the feeling that there's probably going to be some... Okay, I kind of panicked, um, slightly. 
Come here, you stupid! Just die! Thank you. One of the main things of this game is that I really hate flying enemies. I seriously hate flying enemies. Alright, what's over this way? I saw something on the map that looked like a switch, so it might be what I need to um, um, press to get through. It's a silky. Ow! Nice work, Leafa. I'm gonna have to upgrade um, Kirito's weapons when I get the chance because these weapons are kind of basic. Leafa, however, she's got a pretty um, upgraded weapon because I've been using her for a little bit longer. I also gotta figure out where do I go to get some um, equipment because, uh, let's see here. See, I don't have any rings or necklace or amulets or better armor for that matter. You gotta always be prepared when it comes to these. Oh! Okay. Okay, I also figured out how to use my other skills like ice and the dark orb that um, Kirito used when the computer was controlling it. I have to press R1 to um, sheave my weapons in order to do that. But considering that's a little more tricky... Excuse me! Stop with throwing the axes at me! I also learned another um, pretty interesting thing while I was doing so. Ah! Really? I said stop it with throwing axes at me. Why is this thing here? Oh my God, stop throwing those axes at me. And anyways, I was getting sidetracked with what I was about to say. I learned something um, that's pretty interesting. And I will show you guys once the union bar fills up. Is there still an enemy in here? Really? Buzz off! The door is open, so I need to just go. Wait, are you saying this thing has all of... Oh, my God. This area is a lot bigger than I expected it to be. So, oh. Hang on for a minute. My headset's dying on me. Let it be known that I'm never truly prepared for this kind of stuff. Get out of that. Thank you. Pick it up. Thank you. Ooh, money. Never can go wrong when you find money. Oh, I was about to say, is that an item I could collect? And I was like, no. There we go.
Now for this, this one is pretty easy to get in because I actually have the key for it. So what's in here? We got ourselves a chest. Ooh, the Dew of Yggdrasil. That's gonna come in handy. And second floor key. There's a second floor to this place? Really? Ugh, I might run out of time. Anyways, um, this is known as Switch. Actually being able to use this allows me to, um, um, well, I thought this is what it was, but I don't think that's, um, the case when it came right down to it, because when I figured it out, it said I needed to use L1 and R1 to activate it, but it didn't work as I anticipated it. I had to press R2 to actually activate it. So I'm guessing the controls are a bit um bit different than what I was um what I had found out. Come here! Oh, how on earth did I miss? Okay, these enemies are saying 145. This might get a bit more dangerous. Ow! You do! Oh! Ah! Where'd that Kobo come from? Excuse me, don't drop that hammer on me. Okay, taking a look at the map. Oh my God, this place is a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. I am going to stop right here and start up a new recording. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you wish to see more. And of course, Please leave a stick of butter for the doctor so he can get off my back. I'm back because, quite frankly, he hates me using the TARDIS as a gaming room. And, of course, if you wish to help the channel grow, you can do so by sharing the video with friends. And please, go and check out Mother Neroi's DeviantArt page. She's a fantastic artist. And, of course, it would uh, make me happy in the long run. And, as always, this is your host, Mario Shadow, saying along Z, and I'll see you for the next adventure. Goodbye! Thank you.